I'm Lexi. I'm in the U.S. Today is National Self-Care Day. And, you know, every once in a while, you just have to do something for yourself. One of my favorite YouTubers once said that self-care is taking something normal and everyday and elevating it, making it a little bit special. And that really struck home for me. So that's what I try to do, and that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, there is one thing that consistently feels like a treat to me, and I never feel guilty about because it's not that bad for me. And it always makes me feel just a little bit better. And that's coffee. Well, Starbucks gets expensive. You and I both know this. So I started making my own coffee. And then I had to make it special. So let's go into the kitchen and I'll show you what I do. So cold brew coffee is super easy to make. I have this, and I just emptied this jar, so there's still kind of the dregs from the last batch in here, but that's okay. We're just gonna put more coffee in it. I bought this filter on Amazon, and I will link it below. This thing makes making cold brew so easy. Just drop it into the top of a mason jar. Now, this is a half gallon mason jar. On Amazon, it says that it fits a quart don't worry, it fits the wide mouth half gallons too. Because a quart's just not enough coffee at one time. And for a half gallon, I'm going to take 16 tablespoons two, of regular coffee grounds. Three. Sorry, I need to count. <laughs> Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I know 16 tablespoons sounds like a lot, but you want this fairly concentrated because you're going to dilute it with a fair amount of milk. And I like a lot of caffeine. So I've got my 16 tablespoons of coffee, and then just slowly, and this can take a while because you don't want it to overflow, pour in cold water until you reach the top of the jar. So I'm just gonna do that for a few minutes. I'll probably speed up this footage. There we go. Didn't have to speed it up too much. And then just pop the lid on it. And this goes in your refrigerator for 24 hours. When 24 hours is over, you just lift that filter with all the coffee grounds out, dump the coffee grounds in your compost pile, and you've got cold brew coffee for the next, well, however long this lasts you. I am going to put this stuff away and get out the stuff to show you how to make some flavorings for your cold brew. Be right back. So what is cold brew without flavored syrups, right? So we're gonna make two of my favorite flavors. In this pot, I've already got two vanilla beans that I pulled out of the jar that I make vanilla extract in. So these have already given a lot of their life to the vanilla extract, but they've got more to give. Um, I will link that vanilla extract video down below if any of you haven't seen it yet. We are going to add one cup of water, or approximately. Then the other cup's going to go in here. And to both of these, we are going to add one cup of sugar. And I was trying to get fresh mint at the grocery store for this, but my grocery store didn't have any. So I'm going to try mint tea bags. I have never done this before. 
We will find out how it goes together. These are an herbal mint tea, so there's nothing but mint leaves in here. They're just dried instead of fresh. So I'm going to kind of dangle these in a bit, wrap the tags around the handle so I don't lose them. And an vanilla mint. We're making vanilla mint syrup, if you haven't figured that one out yet. Um, and in this one, I'm going to put in peanut butter. I know, peanut butter and coffee sounds a little bit weird, but I love peanut butter coffee. And, like, very few coffee places do peanut butter and coffee. Uh, about a cup of peanut butter. See, it's real easy to remember. A cup of water, a cup of sugar, a cup of peanut butter. That's about a cup of peanut butter. We'll use this little whisk. And then... We're just going to travel over to the stove, heat these up till simmering, and stir them until all the sugar is nice and dissolved and those tea bags have given up their mintiness. Let it cool and put it in some jars for storage. Store it in your fridge. Um, but I'm going to get that taken care of, and then I will see you back at our regularly scheduled location to try these. So here I've got our two jars of sauce, the peanut butter and the peppermint vanilla. Now, I'll give you, that's not a great color. I went ahead and left the tea bags in there so it could get some extra kick while it was cooling down. Um, but I'll take them out when we're done here. And I've got two jars of cold brew that had been previously made. This is not the stuff that you watched me make inside. That still has to sit until tomorrow. But what I usually do is I fill my jar about two-thirds of the way. And then I add a bit of syrup. A little bit more. About a tablespoon, maybe two if I'm really feeling like something sweet. And then I fill it the rest of the way with milk. Whatever your milk of choice is. Put the lid on, give it a nice shake. Let's see how this one is. I've never made the mint vanilla syrup before. It needs more. About another tablespoon. I don't know what it is about mint and vanilla together, but it just feels like Christmas for me. And I know we're a bit past that now, but is there anything wrong with a little bit of Christmas in the middle of April? It's different than say Starbucks. Uh, I don't know if I don't have the balance right or if it's a different kind of mint, but it's still very tasty. And still has that Christmassy vibe to it. So I will definitely be using that jar of syrup. And I might just experiment a little bit when it comes time to make the next one. So let's try the peanut butter. And ignore the label on the jar. I just haven't managed to get the label off the jar yet. I'm not very good at that. Now this one I have made before. And is very much one of my favorites. This one's really thick. some milk. Oh, 
that is so good. And it's truly so good. So anytime, so anytime I need a little bit more of a pick-me-up, a little bit more of a smile, I can go to my fridge and get out a jar of cold brew and a jar of syrup and make myself a little bit of self-care. What do you do for self-care? Is it coffee? Are you interested in these different coffee syrups? Because there are a few more that I make. And if you let me know below that you want to see them, I'd be happy to show you and share my recipes. But that's all I've got for today. If you could give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.